sandwiches with an extra helping of plastic, sausage with bones, and beef that tastes suspiciously like horse. Aldi has fans and customers all over the world, but they're not immune to having some bad products hit their shelves. In April 2017, Aldi recalled over 2,000 packages of Seasons Choice frozen sweet peas from stores in seven states. In a statement, Aldi said that it decided on the recall as a precaution and quickly removed the affected product from their store shelves. The cause of the recall was an outbreak of listeriosis an infection caused by eating food contaminated by Listeria bacteria. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, every year around 1,600 people contract listeriosis, with the most vulnerable groups being pregnant women, newborns, senior citizens, and those with compromised immune systems. While Listeria is not as prevalent as other foodborne bacteria, like Salmonella and E. coli, it is the deadliest. Of the 1,600 infected annually, 260 die from it. Fortunately, in the case of the Aldi's recall, there weren't any reports of anyone getting sick from the peas. In May 2023, Eastern Meat Solutions Incorporated, which supplies pork products to Aldi and Walmart, recalled 40,763 pounds of pork that were not inspected by the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service or FSIS. Every carcass is examined to ensure it is wholesome and safe for human consumption. The items that Aldi stocked, namely Park Street Deli Sweet Chipotle boneless pork ribs with sauce and Park Street Deli Hawaiian-style boneless pork ribs with sauce, originated from Ontario, Canada. The problem is that they entered the United States without being thoroughly inspected by the FSIS. Without these inspections, food items cannot be guaranteed safe for consumption. There were no reports of anyone getting sick from eating the pork products, but customers were nonetheless advised to return or throw away the items. In January 2024, in cooperation with its supplier, Psalm Partners, Aldi recalled over 130,000 pounds of turkey kielbasa. There was so much of it that the recall affected stores in 35 states, totaling 2,972 Aldi stores nationwide. The reason for such a massive recall was bone fragments, which led to many unpleasant dining experiences and one minor oral injury. There are different reasons why bone particles could end up in your kielbasa. For instance, with so much work involved in the slaughter process, it's hard for butchers to avoid overlooking bits of bone. Another is that many factories separate the meat from the bones using machines, which are not always so accurate, and this inaccuracy sometimes leads to pulverized bone bits in cuts like ground beef or sausages. With that said, it's unclear though how exactly the bone fragments ended up in Aldi's Parkview Turkey Polska Kielbasa. In January 2024, Fratelli Beretta USA Incorporated recalled its charcuterie meats particularly packages that contained COPA. According to the USDA, the contaminated items had the salmonella bacteria as a result of under-processing. Aldi, which sells for Telly Beretta's charcuterie meat products under its Appleton Farms Gourmet Deli Selection brand, recalled affected items from its stores in 39 states. If you bought COPA from Aldi at the start of the year, there's a chance that it could still be in your fridge, given its long shelf life. If you do have the item in stock, the company has advised you to either chuck it out or bring it in for a refund. In a report, the CDC concluded that the outbreak infected 104 people from 33 states. 27 of those who fell ill were hospitalized, but fortunately there were no reported deaths. In October 2023, the CDC cautioned the public about eating pre-cut cantaloupe after a salmonella outbreak affected 407 people. Of that number, 159 were hospitalized and six died. The agency, however, added that those statistics were likely underreported because there were victims who recovered from salmonella without going to the hospital or getting tested. Just been pure hell, devastating, unreal. I can't believe that a cantaloupe would make somebody that sick. The contaminated cantaloupes were distributed and sold in 44 states, leading to huge recalls involving many restaurants and retail chains. Aldi, for its part, issued a recall notice for its cantaloupe, cantaloupe chunk, and pineapple spear products in its stores in Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Michigan, and Wisconsin. There are many ways that cantaloupe can get infected, as its nubby surface acts as an ideal environment for bacterial growth. When that tainted rind gets cut, the salmonella could move to the inner flesh. This is one reason it's best to avoid pre-cut fruit. A month after the 2023 contaminated cantaloupes incident, the 
FDA warned the public to be wary of peaches, plums, and nectarines that carried the listeria bacteria. Many produce items will have listeria of various sorts on it. The new outbreak resulted in 10 hospitalizations and one death in seven states. There was even a case of a woman going into early labor after contracting the illness. To contain the problem, HMC Farms, the supplier of the contaminated stone fruits, issued a recall affecting retailers, and Aldi disposed of their fruit stocks in 29 states. In a September 2023 statement, Kraft Heinz explained that it had received complaints from customers who had choked on the thin plastic film of its individually wrapped Kraft American singles processed cheese slices. After an investigation, it was found that the issue was due to a manufacturing error, wherein tiny strips of plastic remained on the cheese slice even after removing the wrapper. Luckily, there were no deaths or serious injuries from the incident. Kraft Heinz also assured the public that it had repaired the broken wrapping machine and checked others for similar errors. With the cheese slices being a popular grocery item that stocked nearly everywhere, Aldi was heavily affected by the recall. The grocery store chain had to remove the Kraft Heinz product from its stores in 38 states. Listeria is one persistent parasite. It not only caused outbreaks related to frozen peas, peaches, plums, and nectarines, but in June 2023, it also led to pineapple contaminations. How pineapples transmit listeria is quite similar to how cantaloupe is contaminated. If the fruit is improperly handled, the bacteria clings and proliferates in the many nooks and crannies of its rough outer surface. And because a pineapple's rind is difficult to wash, unsuspecting victims tend to skip or hastily do this preventative health measure. The end result is the same. The bacteria transfers to the inner parts of the fruit during the cutting process. Aldi, in cooperation with its supplier, Sun Opta, recalled its season's choice brand of frozen mixed fruit and tropical blend fruit in response to the outbreak, pulling out 38,909 cases from its stores in 27 states. In June of 2020, the CDC noticed a surge in salmonella infections linked to red onions and warned the public to avoid eating onions of any type supplied by Thompson International Incorporated. The spread of the bacteria had already begun, however, and by October 2020, the infections had reached every U.S. state except Louisiana and Vermont. A total of 1,127 people fell ill from the salmonella strain, and 167 of those were hospitalized. No deaths were reported. In response to the outbreak, Aldi recalled all red, white, yellow, and sweet onions under the Onions 52 brand, which was supplied by Thompson International Incorporated. The recall affected Aldi locations in 14 states, and other companies that also had to issue similar recalls included Walmart, Kroger, and Food Lion. In April 2019, hard, semi-transparent plastic became an unwelcome sandwich filling for many hungry customers. After receiving customer complaints about the unexpected ingredient, manufacturer J&J &J Snack Foods Corporation recalled 56,578 pounds of its Bremer hot-stuffed sandwiches from retailers nationwide. To put that into perspective, the serving size of a 6-inch roast beef sandwich at Subway is 224 grams. If we're to imagine the amount of recalled J&J &J sandwiches in terms of Subway subs, it would be around 115,465 roast beef sandwiches. Aldi, which stocks the products, recalled its suppliers Bremer Classic Pepperoni Pizza Hot Stuff Sandwiches and Bremer Classic Ham and Cheese Hot Stuff Sandwiches from stores in 29 states. FSIS later said that no one was harmed from the incident. In July 2018, at least 18 people started feeling sick after consuming ground beef from manufacturer Cargill Meat Solutions. Two months later, the USDA announced that one victim had died as a result of E. coli. According to the USDA, meat from the chuck portion of the carcasses had been contaminated with a strain of E. coli that could cause fever, diarrhea, vomiting, and kidney failure. It takes an average of 34 days after exposure for victims to fall ill, which means by the time authorities became aware of the situation, the beef products had already been distributed to locations all across the country. To contain the outbreak, Cargill recalled 132,000 pounds of its meat products, with Aldi asking its customers in 11 states to dispose of a couple of varieties of 80% lean ground beef patty products. The massive recall worked and the CDC said that the outbreak was contained. As it turns out, metals ending up in processed foods is more common than we think. In May 2019, 
Aldi recalled its Kirkwood Buffalo Crispy Chicken Strips and Kirkwood Honey Barbecue Crispy Chicken Strips after supplier Tyson Foods revealed that 11,829,517 pounds of its frozen, ready-to-eat chicken products potentially contained metal. The FSIS received two complaints from customers who had bitten into the pieces of metal. Other consumer complaints followed with three saying the extraneous material had caused oral injuries. The grievances forced authorities to classify the chicken strips as high health risks. There were so many of the chicken strips that Aldi recalled products available in 33 states. This wasn't the first time that Tyson Foods had to recall contaminated meat in an enormous quantity. The company issued five different recalls throughout 2019 because pieces of metal, rubber, and plastic kept ending up in its products. In December 2021, Dole announced a recall of its Dole-branded salads, as well as Aldi's private label products, namely Little Salad Bar and Simply Nature Salad Kits. The reason was Listeria, which was present in random samples taken from the company's Bessemer City, North Carolina, and Yuma, Arizona processing facilities. As mentioned earlier, Listeria is a bacteria that poses a danger to pregnant women, newborns, senior citizens, and the immune compromised. Eating affected food foods can result in fever, chills, nausea, diarrhea, convulsions, vomiting, and even death. For the public safety, Aldi removed the brand salads from its locations in nine states, while Dole notified other retailers in 17 states to recall products containing the lettuce. But that wasn't enough to stop the spread of the contamination. In January 2022, there was a second Dole recall, this time for salad kits made at their facilities in Springfield, Ohio, and Soledad, California. The recall included Aldi's Little Salad Bar brand, forcing the company to take down the items from stores in 22 states. In addition, Aldi removed said products available in Instacart's grocery delivery platform. Despite the bacteria becoming widespread, Aldi said there were no reports of serious illness related to their products. One could argue that this next recall was the biggest scandal in the company's history. It not only involved many Aldi stores, but also the entire European Union. Authorities in Ireland last month tested 27 beef patties, 37% of them testing positive for horse DNA. In January 2013, news rocked Europe when lab results confirmed that beef burger products sold in various EU member states actually contained horse meat. More chaos ensued as Aldi rushed to take down the products, while governments across the continent started investigations. That was just the beginning, however, and soon more Aldi products, like frozen beef lasagna and frozen spaghetti bolognese, were found to contain up to 100% horse meat. There was a lot of pointing fingers as to how the horse meat ended up in beef products. Aldi blamed its supplier, Fendus, for the contaminated meats. Fendus, in turn, blamed its meat supplier, and the list of blame went on and on. In the end, authorities arrested a Dutch wholesaler who allegedly sold 300 tons of horse meat and jailed three UK men who inflated their profits by passing off horse meat as beef, which is more expensive. 